Good morning, day 48 of 100 Days of Making Comics with me, Jamie Gamble. Um, you can find me on jamiegamble.com, monkeypipestudios.com, um, patreon.com backslash jamiegamble, uh, and uh, Hero Code Issue 2 goes live on Comixology today, so you can find some stuff there. Comixology, Hero Code, Monkey Pipe Studios, Jamie Gamble, etc., etc., do searches. Uh, it's early, so uh, I'm just getting ready to go to work. I've got my coffee. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, um, what was it? Day 48. So, have a closer I saw yesterday that Kevin Cross, who um, kind of inspired me and several other people to do the 100 Days of Making Comics Challenge, where you would spend 30 minutes in a, every day for 100 days working on your own comics. Uh, is nearly at a hundred days, so congratulations to him, um, and uh, congratulations to everyone else who's been doing this challenge and getting up there into those those higher numbers um, and working on their own stuff. That's really great. Um, I've been thinking a lot about um, uh, the natural life of comics and um, um, how we live through series reboots and restarts in mainstream comics especially and really thinking about the idea that, that comics have a, a natural life, a shelf life um, with their readers there's a, a, a connection with them um, and how we've kind of sped up that process in the past it used to be that you would be with a creative team on a story for a, a while as a reader and then you know you'd move on, for me there was like a progression from the uh, more fun comic books like um, Spider-Man, Transformers, um, um, Batman, Superman, they were, were fun back then. Um, moving into more Vertigo-style titles and, um, you know, 2000 AD to Crisis to Warrior and so on and so on. And finding those um, grander, more lofty story ideas for, away from the kind of lighter, more soap operatic storylines that went in month to month to month. Um, and I think there is a natural life, I think there is a point where you don't want to read about the characters anymore, that you've read their stories and it kind of tapers off and it's nice and we've forced the issue now, you have collectors now that stay with the same character for decades and I don't think it's a natural, um, I don't think it's a natural relationship or a storytelling, um, uh, ideology, it's... It's very difficult to to keep telling those stories, and I think it's nice that um, that people do grow up with their characters and then move on. Um, I think there's a tendency now to shut the back door, to not want new readers, and to not want new people. And even the reboots—they were reboots to shift the entire line of uh, DC, particularly into the arena of their current readership. It didn't really change and adapt anything or reset anything, it just pretty much said, yes, this is what you guys have been, our, our core readers have been into for the last few years, and here it is now, we're setting it up on a plate to say this is exactly what it is, so I think there's a problem there, um, that we need to, as creators, as writers, if we're going to do long-term storytelling, to think about new readers, and you know, we're very lucky in the independent world, self-publishing world, to have the evergreen model exist now where your books are never out of print, things like Comixology, where, <clears throat> you know, if uh, two, three years down the line, and I've got issue, whatever, 20, say, 10, of the Hero Code up, and someone's picked it up for the first time and read it, they say, I like that, then they just go back and buy the rest. So... You know, we have to think about new readers, we have to think about introducing new people to comics and not shutting the door on a lot of people. And that goes for a lot of the groups that aren't <coughs> currently considered comic fans, um, which is an absurd idea. Everyone should enjoy comics. Um, you know, women readers, uh, young readers, um, ethnic readers, it's all these groups that we do not write for or create for or don't think of as being possibly fans, and there's a kind of tendency for a bunch of creators and fans to 
push people away, to um, in in many respects bully them away from from the mainstream, uh, especially is guilty of that, and I think it's a real problem. And I think there's a snobbery as well for independent comics. There tends to be this kind of uh, um, you know, with image especially, there tends to be this kind of high art approach, um, which I think isolates a lot of people. I think there's a problem there. Um, this kind of idea that they are transcending. It's almost like the image see themselves as the HBO of comics, um, you know, not more than television or whatever the, the catch line of uh, HBO is. Anyway, so that's what I've been thinking about. Um, day 48, I better go to work. Um, I'll see you tomorrow.